uh, there are uh, there's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they moved, their trajectory. Uh, they, they did not have um, an easily explainable pattern. Imagine a technology that can do six to seven hundred g-forces that can fly at thirteen thousand miles an hour that uh, it can evade radar and that can fly through air and water and possibly space and oh by the way has no obvious signs of propulsion no wings no control surfaces and yet still can defy the natural effects of earth's gravity that's precisely what we're seeing the government has already stated for the record that they're real i'm not telling you that the united states government is telling you that They seem to, these vehicles seem to have unlimited loiter time, which we don't have. Then the acceleration is beyond any, far beyond anything that we, that we're capable of. Well, I don't believe they're coming from foreign adversaries. Uh, if, if they were, why, that would suggest that they have a technology which is in a whole different sphere than anything we understand. Uh, and, uh, and frankly, China and Russia just aren't there. Do we have any sensors underwater? Uh, to um, detect on submerged UAPs, uh, anything that is in the ocean or in the seas. So I think uh, that would be more appropriately addressed in closed session, sir. Now I know what you've seen is what those Navy pilots saw in 2004, and there have been some 300 sightings since then. And I've talked to those pilots, and they know they saw something, and their radars locked onto it. And, and then all of a sudden it was here on the surface and then it's there. Uh, and they don't know what it is and we don't know what it is. Lieutenant Graves told us pilots training off the Atlantic coast see things like that all the time. Every day, every day for at least a couple of years. Um, wait, wait a minute, every day for a couple of years? Mm -hmm. I think some of the phenomena we're going to be seeing is, 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 continues to be um, unexplained and um, might in fact be some type of phenomenon that is the result of something that um, we don't yet understand and that could involve some type of um, activity that uh, some might uh, say uh, constitutes a, a, a different form of life. And the main issues that Congress and others have been concerned about are basically safety of flight concerns and counterintelligence issues. But of course, there's always the question of, is there something else that we simply do not understand that might come extraterrestri extraterrestrially? The immediate concern is very twofold. One, this is a technology that we don't completely understand. And it seems to be defying our understanding of physics. And secondly, whoever's operating it or whoever's behind it, these aerial phenomena, seems to be keenly interested in our military capabilities. You know, there's a tendency for the UAP sightings and developments to occur around military assets, especially, it seems, around our naval assets. The fact that this is in our airspace and it's real, that's when it becomes compelling and that's when it becomes problematic. The question is, what is it? What are its intentions? What are its capabilities? Who is out there? Who are we? How did we get here? How did we become as we are? Who am I to say that planet Earth is the only location of a life form that is civilized and organized like ours?